Hey, this is John with Custom Kids Cars, and this video is going to be a basics Power Wheels Modding 101. Uh, we're seeing a lot of stuff out there that's misinformation or just stuff that's, um, I guess, a mystery. And this is a, a project we just finished for a customer uh, that's a basic paint job. 18 volts, headlights, taillights. We do tons of these. I don't know. I'd say maybe 20, 30 a summer. Uh, pretty basic. And I'm just going to go through how we do it. We've been doing this for seven years. And I think we've got a pretty good system. So we, what we got under the seat is a 12 volt Gruber battery and a 6 volt Gruber battery wired in series. So we've got negative, positive, negative, positive. Basically daisy chain them. So um, we've got the negative and then out of the positive we've got a resettable breaker, 40 amp, you can use 30 amp, going into the negative. So it's like an like a daisy chain and then out of the negative into the positive. So that's giving you 18 volts. And that's pretty much how we do that and how we charge it. If you're on a very limited budget, um, you can do a separate charge on the 12 volt, separate charge on the 6 volt. But we like to install charge ports. So what we've got um, back here on the gas cap, how fitting is that? Uh, we use a it's an 18 volt charger made for mini motos. Um, it's we get them at monsterscooterparts.com. It's got your little coax prong plug on the back, I guess, your mail. And we literally just plug it in, plug it into the wall. Um, it's green right now because it's not plugged in, but when it's in charge mode, it's red. When it's tapped out at its 22 volts for an 18 volt charge, uh, 18 volt pack, it's going to be green like that. So that's how we install the batteries. That's how we charge them. Um, I guess we'll talk a little bit about the basic tools. Uh, you're going to definitely need your assortment of crimp connectors for different gauges. We use a lot of these for motors, um, the 12, 12 gauge. And the blue and red are for your general wiring for your lights. Talking about lights, we pretty much use Eagle Eyes. Um, they've got a threaded bolt looking thing here. And you literally um, highly recommend getting your step down drill bit if you guys don't have one. You literally drill through the plastic, stick it through, and tighten it up. And that's what we've used on here. So we've got eagle eyes behind the lenses there. And we've also got eagle eyes in the rear tails. Uh, we use pretty much predominantly these lighted rocker switches. Um, when it's on, it's lit up so the kids know to shut it off because it will drain your battery. But, um, and how do we do that on 18 volt battery? We use this little doodad right here. It's actually a step down converter. So we've got a tap off from our positive and negative of 18 volts, goes to your in, and then on the out, which is gonna go up to your switch, it's got this little potentiometer, that little blue thing, and there's a little straight slot screw on the top. You clip on your voltmeter and you can adjust that voltage and what I love about this is you don't have a separate battery you don't have to charge any of that plus the cost of it this literally little gizmo is like two dollars um, you can get them on eBay and you clamp your voltmeter on here and you can tweak your voltage so you can actually turn it up to get a little bit more brightness because LEDs just go by voltage so um, we run them about 13 volts it's not gonna you know, drastically reduce its lifespan, but that's how we do lights. You drill holes, you put them in, and then you tap, this is your power, um, negative, positive, going up to the switch. So we've got the wire fed underneath all your little things here, and on your lighted rocker switch, 
the brass is always your ground and pretty much always the outside is power in and when you turn power on it lights up the LED and feeds power out so this middle one is going to go out to your accessory lights that's how all the lights work again this is just basics this isn't just an in-depth how-to um, and we'll, what we use a lot on our lights because a lot of times if we have to take the vehicle back apart we don't use crimps because then we waste them um, we use these little teeny tiny wire nuts I guess if they're good enough for residential wiring um, they're good enough for us but holds up to three four wires so we um, twist those on and run some really good electrical tape over it not the cheap dollar store vinyl stuff we use uh, it's scotch uh, plus 33 um, I think that's what it's called so that's battery that's lights talked about the fuse that's the big thing I'm always seeing is uh, people always talking on the online about using lawnmower batteries motorcycle batteries well guess what folks those have liquid acid in them they vent hydrogen they are meant to start a vehicle high amp draw and then guess what it's shut off and it's recharged these are constantly discharging you guys really need to take it serious and use a sealed lead acid um, it goes back and forth online but it's just not worth the risk um, so yeah make sure you're using a sealed battery that doesn't have liquid acid in it that can vent and hurt your child enough of the safety stuff there got that out of the way but yeah right battery and always fuse it um, basic stuff guys um, here's a battery pack that's out if you don't want to use resettable breakers the cheapest route is just your 12 gauge wire with crimp connectors on both ends with female blade terminals and a fuse uh, it's as basic as it gets you can also use um, your fuse holders here so again negative into positive jumps over to negative into the positive gives you 18 volts between those that go out to the stock battery plug um, the other thing we're obviously going to need I guess for tools since we're kind of talking about it is a good set of um, strippers crimp connectors um, that's what we use a lot and also a voltmeter uh, everybody asks all these basic, basic questions how do you check a battery well you get a voltmeter make sure it has ohms that's pretty important I use ohms a lot to test circuits um, these are your basic tools um, obviously you know you start doing modifying you're gonna have to use some more more tools um, another topic over volting 18 volts is pretty much safe you're going 50% over so you're a five mile an hour vehicle is going to go seven and a half miles an hour people say they run 24 volts and they're 180 pounds and ride in them well I don't know I think that you run a motor at twice its speed um, my results for the last seven years is a five gallon bucket full of burn up motors and a big tote full of burnt up gearboxes and what I mean by that is the motor it's a 550 size can motor I don't have any out but you're spinning that 16,000 on average 16,000 rpms at 32,000 it's creating a lot more friction and these gearboxes have plastic gears and a pin there's so much friction that it, this one right here it literally melted the gear um, right out the side so um, that's what you get with 24 volts in my opinion and then the other thing people are doing is traction everybody wants these rubber tires and traction bands and stuff well when customers do that these plastic gears shred um, Power wheels and peg perigo, they engineer those plastic wheels to spin for a reason. It's basically a clutch. Uh, it protects the shock of that instant 12 volts. Um, we're putting double the torque through there. Uh, it's going to be catastrophic eventually. It's cool. It's fun. I did it for a long time. When I first got into mining, I had four little kids. And eventually I got tired of buying $45, $50 on gearboxes a week. You know, you get tired of that. So... That's just my opinion. I've only done a couple hundred modified power wheels. Um, I, I do tons of repairs. I flip about 50 a year. Um, I don't keep track. 
it, it might be more than that, but uh, let's just say I've I've done my fair share of modding on power wheels, and these guys come on here that online and they've got a Barbie Jeep that they put two lawnmower batteries in and say that it lasts forever and I don't know it's starting to get on my nerves a little bit but um, I've got a fully functional Power Wheels modding shop I mean it's legit what we do um, we've got a Power Wheels dyno where we can test the difference after modification um, we've got tons of customer rides we've got the legendary nightmare here um, you know it's a few years old no problems we're doing RC Cobras, we're doing 36 volt uh, Razor quad. We've got the pretty sweet uh, 24 volt Peg Razor that's getting another upgrade. Um, Going to get a little bit higher amp controller. We've got this is going to be pretty trick. Our first air ride Dodge Dually. Um, so I mean, I've I've done a few of these. You know, we've got our um, Derby cars here that win a lot of races with my little kids um, we're building an electric junior dragster we're gonna have tons of rentals for birthday parties um, you know this is kind of just part, half of our shop we've got a few trophies from last year um, to you know show kind of what we're doing I'm not getting this video isn't really about my shop but I, I'm not a rookie at this and I'm trying to help out these beginners and hopefully this answered a lot of the basic questions that's the first step, 18 volt lights. Um, any questions, give me a shout. Thanks.